Hello everyone, suppose you have a data set where a single cell contains information that needs to be displayed in separate columns for better readability and formatting. Then you know how important it is to split one cell in two in Excel. We can easily do this within a second. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to split one cell into two in Excel. So let's get started. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have list of names of the employees in column B and we want to split the full name into first name and last name in column C and D. So without any further discussion, let's get into the methods. In our first method, we want to split one cell into two by using the text to column feature in Excel. To do that, we'll go to the B column and select the whole B5 to B11 cells and select the data tab. Here, we'll go for the text to columns in the data tools. After that, the convert text to columns dialog box will get open in our window. We'll select delimited in our option and we'll go to the next page by selecting next. Now we'll select space as our delimiter and then we'll go for the data preview to see that we have splitted the cells as we wish or not. We'll go next page by using the next and now we can easily select general in the column data format. We can also go for the data preview to see if the splitting is correct or not. As destination, we have to select the C5 to D11 cell. Next, we'll go for the finish and now you'll get your confirmation and press OK to get your perfect result. So that's text to com feature for you. Now we'll use flash fill feature to split one cell into two. To do that, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert our first name of the B5 cell. Now, if you write down your second name here, then Excel is already suggesting the flash fill feature. So if you click on the enter button, you'll directly get the result. Alternatively, you can do the same by manually writing the names in first two cells. And then you will see that you have selected both the cells and drag down to the very last cell. Now, at the right side of the corner, you will have autofill options. If you click on the flash fill feature here, then you'll get your perfect result to do that. That's how easy to use flash fill feature in Excel. Now, we'll use the combination of left, find, right, and len functions to use it as a delimiter formula to split one cell into two. So we'll go to the C5 and insert our left function. The left function extracts the leftmost value of a selected text, which is in this case B5 cell. Now in our number character section, we'll write down our find function to find the value we're trying to get. At first, as delimiter, we're trying to get a space. So we'll write down nothing in our double quotation. And after that, we'll go for the selected cell within text is B5. After that, we'll put a bracket and now we'll subtract minus one to get our perfect result of the B5 cell. So when you press the enter button, then you'll get your first name from the C5 cell. If you drag down the formula in every case, then you'll get the first name for the C column. To determine the last name, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the write function here. The write function extracts the rightmost value of the selected text, which is in this case, the B5 cell. Next, we'll go for the length of the text by using the len function. The len function will select the B5 cell as the length and then subtract the find function to get the total character as we wished. So we'll select the space as our delimiter again and we'll go for the B5 cell in this case 
and again we'll insert the brackets and hit the enter button so you'll get your last name as you have wished now copy down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how you can easily use the combination of functions to use it as delimiter formula we can also do the same job by using the insertion of line break to do that we'll go to the c5 cell and insert the combination of left search and character function to get the first name so at first we'll use the left function to extract the leftmost value of the selected text which is in this case b5 as the text now as the number character we'll use the combination of search and character function the search function searches the value as we have selected and so we'll select the search function and in the find text we'll write down character of 10 so write down character and 10 as our number next we'll get our within text which is b5 cell and as a starting number we'll select one and now we'll click the enter button to get our first name drag down the formula to use it to every cell to get result for the first name next we'll go for the d5 cell and now we'll use the combination of write len and search function so write down the write function to extract the rightmost value of the b5 cell so select b5 as our text to determine the length we'll write down len as the function and as the text we'll select b5 again but to get the search result we'll again use the search function and then we'll go for the character again the character is for 10 digits so write down the 10 as our decimal and now we'll go for the b5 cell again as our within text as a starting number we'll always select the one and now if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect last name drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how easy to use the insertion of line break now we'll use the combination of write sum len and substitute function to spread the cells to do that we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the write function to extract the rightmost value here so we'll select b5 as our text and now we'll go for the sum function and length function combination the combination extract the total sum of the selected value so in this case we'll write down sum to get the result and next we'll go for the length function to length of the cell of b5 now we want to subtract the length function and now we'll again go for the substitute function to substitute the value of only the last names so we'll write down substitute function and as we're trying to get the result from b5 cell we'll write it and as we're trying to get the result only for numbers so in the curly bracket we'll write down only the numbers in the double quotation so write down the numbers in between 0 to 9 now we will end our curly bracket after that and now as delimiter we can easily use a space so write down double quotation and now end it with the brackets after that we'll hit the enter button to get the perfect last name in this case now drag down the formula to split the last name only now we can do the same thing by using the combination of left and link function in the c5 cell so write down the left function to extract the leftmost value within the text of b5 cell to determine the length of the character so write down len and go for the b5 cell now we'll subtract the value of len from the value of the d5 cell that means it will subtract the value of b5 and minus the d5 so we'll get only the first name of the b5 so if we hit the enter button then we'll get only the first name here now drag down the formula to get the result for every cell so that's how you can easily use combination of function to get your perfect result we can also do the same job by using the power query editor to do that we'll select the b4 to b11 cells and in the data tab we'll go to the from table or range in the gate transform and data section if you click on it then you'll have create table select the proper destination and tick on the my table has headers and click ok after that you'll get your power query editor here 
in the power query editor section you'll go to the speed column section and select by delimiter here now you will see you have the speed columns by delimiter within it now we'll select space as your option and here you have the ok if you click on ok then you'll get your perfect first name and last name now go to the file section and in the close and load option select close and load to now if you click on it you will get import data dialog box in your screen now in the screen you can easily select the existing worksheet here and go for the worksheet destination in this case we'll select the value the destination as c4 and click on the ok if you click on the ok then you'll get your perfect result here now you'll see that you have splitted the first name and last name by using the power query editor so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelimit.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this